What's up, y'all? Sid here. So today I want to talk about my Shattered Mountain chest run. When I don't have a group ready or I don't want to really do much at the moment, sometimes I just want to sit back, relax, and farm a few chests. Now, why I do this is because from the chests, there's a chance that you can get trophy rewards. Now, I don't have a recording of it, but the first time I was shown these chest runs, I got an engineer's journal out of it, and I got to sell that for a pretty penny, because at the moment, I didn't need it. So, we can get into this quickly. I just want to show you my run that you can do solo or with a group. Check it out with some commentary over the video. Thanks. And if you like the video, make sure to comment, like it, and subscribe. On this first pit stop, we go to Odium. Now, you don't have to actually do this spot first. I did it here to just show it quickly. However, the first spot can also be the next spot I'm going to show you. So, if you want, the second spot could be your first spot. Keep that in mind. But this is Odium. You may notice me on some of these supply stockpiles jumping on top of them. This, for the current moment, resets threat. Now, you may still get hit, but the mobs have no real pathing path to you. Make sure to get in the corner until this gets patched out. I don't know if this is going to stay the way it is, but this is what I was told to do. I don't know if this is how it's going to stay, but I mean, until then, you can use that or you can kill the mobs, which I do that in this video too. This next spot, spot two, or potentially your first spot, depending on how you want to do this run, is an elemental bear. Now, what you'll see me do is jump on top of the cave. This is to get rid of aggro. Again, it's kind of like that chest, that supply stockpile that we jumped on top of to de-aggro. The same applies here. Now, when you go to get the chest, you're going to have to go by the bear. So wait for the bear to look away. This way you can sneak behind it, get the stockpile, and run out. Easy, you don't even have to fight him. But if you have a group, might as well get the potential drops, wouldn't you say? Once you've escaped the porcupine of hell, get ready. You have a little bit of a walk. Your next stop is Vehemence and Aratus. Now, these may have people farming, and if you're PvP flagged for the extra luck, you may want to be careful. Funny enough, the people I found here, I believe may have been fresh 60s or something like that. So at some point, I had to help them. Check it out.
don't do what I did here. I accidentally forgot one chest and had to walk back in. That's why I had to help this crew here. Your next stop is Spilio Cavern. So again, this is a little bit of a walk. And when you go there, you'll be facing ancients, a bunch of spooky, spooky skeletons. So if you're a tank and you have a hammer, you should be fine. There are two chests here, so they're kind of quick. And they're also by name bosses. If you have the time to kill them, there's a chance, especially if you're lower on expertise, to get a bump. Just an option. I forgot to mention, on your way up to the cavern, and on your way away from it, you'll notice that there are some ironwood trees. 
on the east side of Shattered Mountain, there are some ironwood trees that you can pick up. So, if you have 200 logging, it may be a great idea to pick those up on your chest route. Pullis is coming up next. It only has two chests, but I want to warn you, there are rends here. If you are not a tank, or even if you are a tank, be careful. You will be taking extra damage. Now, your last fort is Lapsus. So, be careful. Just like the previous ones, there are a lot of mobs here. There are ways to reset them, and there are ways to fight them. They're not that hard, especially, again, if you're a tank. If you want to know my build, check out my tanking video. I'll put it up here in the corner. For two of these last chests, they are in Blight. So while you still can kill all the mobs and get to the chests and out before you're blighted, it may be a good idea to bring a few Blight potions just in case you do get blighted. No one likes that shit.
there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it. This is actually part one of two of my chess runs. So I have an, a little bit of an infinite loop that I go through. I never really have to stop. And I want to just thank the people that showed me this chess run. And it was SDO or since day one on our server Orofina on US East. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. And I wanted to share it with the world. So make sure to give them some love too if you're on the server. And... Aw, oh, shit. Here we go again.